Boom. Look at that, guys. She's up. Fair, fair made up. I really am. Um, if you don't know much about this, customise. Um, plaque, do go check out last week's video and there will be a link in there as well to the fella who knocks these together. Um, so yeah, do check out his sites and see what he's got all. Get someone customised yourself, why not? Um, right guys, where well, we're going to start because I've got work in around about 2 hours, 45 minutes, something daft like that. Um, here, we'll put some up here, a little video of what's been occurring. Um, as you can see, that's me throwing away... Um, 21, 22 litres of my red IPA. Well, I put together two and a half weeks ago. I'm not sure now, but oh, I could have cried because I've thrown a lot of hoppers in there. My favourite Vic Secret hop as well. These things happen though, don't they? We know that. Um, I'm not too sure how it occurred, but there was like a real strong metallic taste in the trial jar. Um, my brew bucket may not have been sterilised thoroughly. I don't know. I did chuck some Kvart yeast in there, dry Kvart yeast. That was my choice of yeast to ferment it out. After two days, no activity whatsoever. And that's highly unusual for Kvart yeast, especially when you crank the temperatures up. So I took the decision to sprinkle some US faux fob on there. And then within a matter of about six hours, it was bubbling away. So I was like, yeah, bang on. But then a part of me knew, well, if that Kvart yeast is in there and that wasn't fermented out, that USO5 was going to attack that anyway and it may give it some off flavour. So, you know, I gave it about a week and, like I say, real strong metallic taste. But you can't do nothing about it, can you guys? You've got to get rid of it um, and put another one together. And that's what I did. Obviously, I cleaned my brew bucket out, thoroughly sterilised that. Um, and there she is. Pale Ale, uh, my New Zealand Pale Ale. There'll be a grain to glass coming on this next week. It's cold crashing down at the moment, so about eight and a half degrees. So, got a few more de degrees to drop, but she finished off at 5%. Very, very powerful, fruity. Um, so we'll keg that, and I'm gonna do a couple of what's bottle conditioned as well. Uh, see how they play um, over Christmas. Bar Blaze, I've had some Bar Blaze delivered look. Urban Chicken Ale. Aren't they funky? Turn it over, made in Ilson. Ilson? Ilkeston. The next town up the road from me. But if you live in Ilkeston, you call it Ilson. If you know, you know. I call it Ilson. So, yeah, Darren at Urban Chicken Ale. He does some really, really fine quality ales. He really does. I think he got... It's successful with one of them, well, well all of them, it's commercial now, but what's one of them? It's called his Earthquake. He uh, did really well at the National Homebrew Competition. I think, I might have to look that up again. Um, but I may even christen that with one of his beers. I might have to go, and go out and get one, so we'll do a review in that in a couple of weeks' time. Why not, eh? Um, thank you, Darren, for them. Got two of them. One's a present for someone. Here we have beer mail from my good friend Ashley up the road. Um, local home brewer. And lives about 10 doors up from me. Got into the whole dangerous home, brew home brewing game. Um, and that is his St. Peter's Ruby Ruby IPA, is it? St. Peter's Ruby Ale. Um, he loved the commercial so much. He knocked up the one in the kit. So we'll see what that's like. I may even do a review on here for you, Ash. Um, but he's actually gone all grain now. Just purchased a massive bad boy pot from Beerhawk in the Black Friday sale. I think he's got his own burner, etc. But he's going to be doing brewing a bag, so I'll be helping him do some brew days. Looking for swapping beers with him. Why not, eh? That's what his game's all about, ain't it? I actually... Thank you, Ash. I actually had a, some beers from Clive at Cutch's Homebrew delivered to me last week as well. And I actually got into him on Sunday. Now, I apologise so much, Clark, because I should have got footage for you. Um, but I will have a session on Sunday, and I really wanted to get into him because two of them was my ESB recipe I put together. Um, but I think Clark slightly adapted it by throwing some more chocolate in there. Um, what did he swap the hop out? I'm not too sure. But he previously did it with Graham at Hapless Ginger Brew a few weeks back. Um, I think they enjoyed it. They had mixed reviews, I was saying, but Clive liked it so much, he wanted to put it together again. 
with a little slight tweak and there will be a video on that in the link in the description box so i know it's put one together um absolutely lovely cloud there really was thank you my mate there wasn't much carbonation there but i think you bottled them straight off your keg and maybe i should have left them probably about another week week and a half being at esb they would have only got a bit better anyway but very nice i love the deep rich um, mahogany color from the added chocolate malt you added Another one was his proper job clothing is put together. There should be a picture there because I did take a picture of that. Very, very nice, mate. You sent me three proper job clones now um, over this last year. Your first proper job clone was by far one of the best homebrewers I've ever had off anyone. It was so bloody nice, it really was. I think I did a side by side on that in a really old video last year and it was much better than the original more powerful and hoppy well this one this time round was very nice yet again my friend cheers buddy right um what else guys i have a poster here what's going to sit down there once again my fermentation fridge my racking iconic film poster is going to sit down there i was helping my auntie and uncle uh, move house of a day and in the loft or the poster, what they put together, or one of the other uncles did 30 years ago. And it's been in there 30 years. Anyone know what it is yet? It is Highlander. And I kid you not, it is that big. I'm six foot six, look at the state of this bad boy. Get out! Mint it that. That is gonna sit perfect in here. I asked them what they're doing with it. I asked them what they're doing with it, and um, I think they're going to go back in the loft again for another 30 years, so oh, of course I was acquiring that, I really was. Thank you to them here. Final thing, this Friday, I'm having a very, very drunken session with my local homebrewing buddies. Um, we've all done an advent calendar each for each one of us, um, full up of commercial ales, different ones, and a bit of homebrew in there as well. We've all been allocated a different person. No one knows yet. So we'll have a session. Saturday is a return to Retford. Now this is going to be good. It really is. I went to be in the summer. I think there was only about six of us last time. Um, pushing 20 this time around. Sure there is. Um, it's going to be a proper Christmas piss up for us YouTubers. It really is. Um, not just YouTubers. Us homebrewers. That will do. Um... I think we're maxed out at the local big guest house up there. I'm stopping up there with, um, in there, like, we're like called Michael Hall. So, look forward to meeting him. Talk to him quite a lot. So, like I said, we're going to see Harry in his new premises. Um, I can't wait. If you've been following his videos, you know how excited it's going to be just to get into there. Um, and I think, I'm sure I said Tom's coming as well. So, it'll be good to have a catch up with him. It's going to be another messy one, isn't it? We're going to be down that unit as well, I would have thought. Look at this fermenter, see, what, see what's occurring in there and probably sample a few beers. Uh, yeah, so we'll try and get as much footage of that, not just from me. There's going to be a fair amount on YouTube next week um, of us all in there having a good drink. Sunday is my Christmas party, so I've got a fair busy weekend. Um, yeah, th three days of heavy drinking, that's what it looks like. So I'm going to be ready for a good rest next week. This is my missus' birthday and I'm taking her away. Uh, nice little cosy cottage in Derbyshire. Should, should be nice. But I'm sure there's going to be some nice micro pubs around there. <laughs> right, I'm done this week, guys. Nothing more else to talk about. Um, Grain to glass on the New Zealand Pale Ale next week. Cheers to all the new subscribers and everyone else who's viewing at the moment. Keep tipping it back.